Hey guys, Spooks here, and welcome to They Are Here. This is a demo, actually, for an alien horror game, which we don't get a lot of. At least, I don't notice a lot being made. Demo or prologue? Prologue? The prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happened 30 years before the event shown in the demo version. The main character is Private Michael Anderson, who serves at a military base near Grayswood Farm. By chance, he becomes a witness of terrible, inexplicable events. Alright, Michael. Let's see what you got. August. Delta, this is Alpha. We have an unidentified object at 270 degrees. 20 miles moving fast. Do you copy? Over. the object without contact. Omega team will arrive in one minute. You can get surveillance from the air. Drive with care. Report when you arrive. I've arrived. This is cool. I read you five by five, sir. Out. But also terrifying. Oh, that's a helicopter. This dot starts moving towards me. I'm gonna this is Omega. We see you. We are monitoring. That's not good. That's usually not a good sound. I am the same distance away as I was. For being a federal agent, I'm very Oh, Mager, this is Michael Anderson. I report radiation detected. The counterindicator is average. Let me just go ahead and keep running into this radioactive area. Roger that. We're all quiet here. I ain't no regular human man. This is Mager. I'm reporting wishy blue light. Strangely, the devices are a little naughty. The devices are out. Over. I think one of the. The object is being detected and is approximately away from you. You don't notice movement. Over. One of the scariest jump scares I've ever experienced, at least in a movie. I guess that got me the most. The most needed signs. The most needed. So Omega, what right the hell is going on with your devices? Radiation levels are rising. Over. I think they can't hear me. They got worse. Thanks, Omega. I kind of figured that one out. Hey, can you hear me? Something strange is happening. Device is breaking down. Indicator is 
guarantees are constantly changing? It can't be that everything breaks down at the same time. It seems that there is some kind of an anomaly here. This is the base. Omega, stay away from the object. Observe the object from a distance. Well, then why do I have to go near the object? I feel like Omega should, should go in close. This Omega... <laughs> The radiation is getting stronger. Wait. Hot. Need to stop me off. That, what the hell's going on there? No, not further. Just stay still. Oh, that that is cool. Fly away. Michael Anderson, follow protocol. Anyone hear me? Over. Why are you not just running? Well, I guess I'm in control of you, so. Can anyone Why answer? Why am I not just running? Damn it. Seemed closer than this. Oh, eh. Uh... Oh, no, this made it scarier. Before I could kind of see out into the dark. Oh, that's. many of them around me. Over here. Oh, 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 God. I don't like things peering around objects and especially trees and walls and corners. I don't like it. Oh. Jinkies. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. The strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation of, about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. So talking about things moving under windows, when I lived with my parents, there was one room in the house that for some reason every night you could hear someone walking underneath the windows every single night. Now, honestly, it was probably just a deer. Probably what it was, but it, it was terrifying. Oh man, I, just just the image of that alien behind the tree. Talk to the farmer, Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter Pumpkin. It's normal. 
I am so excited for this full game. This is going to be such a good game. Oh, cornfields. That's not great. Freaking stop that. Ooh, I'm a tad bit jumpy. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something had bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. I mean, honestly, if you're trying to find your daughter, maybe taking time to leave notes is... That, that is a weird place for your refrigerator, sir. Why do you have a refrigerator stool? 1955. Alright. The car I was in did not look like it was from the 50s, but okay. This game's got really good ambience. I didn't see the face for a second, and I just saw the dog, and I was like, why does the dog have human arms? He doesn't. Yeah, this is in the 50s. <laughs> oh, gosh. I learned a lot about... I uh, learned a lot about of these things. They are called the Greys. Oh, hey, look, it's over here. They're called the Greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, dis uh, disproportionate to the body, no hair. Bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with the bright, all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed then severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places, for, for example, in the middle of a field or on a road, a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens establish control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During palpation, it felt like something object moving under the skin. Yeah. I really thought something was going to be looking at me from the window. Oh, I hate that. Oh, perhaps Fisherman saw something similar. Well, I hope not, because that's like an autopsy. Oh, these are all kind of saying the same. But yeah, the information about the grades is uh, these, are, these are all real pictures. I don't, I don't know how real they actually are. I can tell you how much I don't want to find out. Oh, my old diary. How could I forget that? When, when I was 15 years old. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights, four windows, was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing, and I walked home as if in delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two very small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Uh, what did I do? Ah! Good job, me. How did I do that? Why is the door closed? I didn't close you. So why is this room so tall? Why am I so afraid? Oh, well, this is not cool. Oh, was that the, the dad? Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen to very strange sounds. Yeah, I'd rather just put 
put that back, actually. No. I don't like that. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed. The window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Yeah, I think that was the part. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad, 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 bad. territory of Grayson's farm and open story. Good. Oh! Oh, my body is numb! Holy crap! Oh, my eyes are watering. <laughs> oh, my heart is racing. I wonder if I can pull up my heart rate. One oh eight. It's one oh eight. Wow. Jinkies. 
top tier. Next level. Oh, my hand's numb. My fingers are all tingly. Oh my gosh. There will be a link to this down in the description below. The demo is free on Steam. I highly recommend experiencing that because it's terrifying and I want to go cry in a corner. So, if you guys liked this, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and until next time, stay spooky. Toodles!